Welcome back to No Limit Drag Racing 2.0, and today we're going to be buying a C10, we're going to be building it, we're going to be taking it to the strip, and we're going to see what we can do with it for the very first time. Now, I was informed by a lot of you guys in the comments of some of my recent No Limit Drag Racing 2 videos that I can apparently put the nitrous on one of these cars or trucks while I've already got like a pro charger or a turbo setup on it. I, I guess I thought that you couldn't do that, and I was completely, uh, apparently completely wrong, but I really appreciate you guys letting me know down there in the comment section down below. And if you have any other tips that you would like to leave down there, make sure to leave them in the comment section down below, of course. Now, let's go ahead and pick this C10 up. Now, I'm definitely going to be switching out the color. I'm definitely going to be switching out a, a bunch of different aspects of this rig. But first thing I want to do is go ahead and get all of the engine and performance upgrades taken care of. Now, let's go ahead and get all of this stuff built all the way out. And then now, we don't have to worry about any of that. It's all maxed. It's all good to go. So, we're going to do a... Let's see. So, we can... Oh, 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 dude. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes. All of the yes. All of the yes. Okay, now, what do I want from here? Do I want zoomies? Do I want bumper exit? The bumper exit looks sick, but I used it on a recent truck. I might run... Ooh, I might run hood exits on the C10. Ooh, that would be wild. Dude, turbo and hood stacks. Or I could do a blower. Or I could do a pro charger setup. I kind of want to run turbos. And I think... Oh, wait a minute. It said uninstall... Wait, what? Then why is it that... Uninstall nitrous? So you guys were... Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. They were like, oh no, you can run turbo and nitrous. Why are you not running turbo and nitrous? Or, or, or like pro charger and nitrous. Y'all said you could run both at the same time. Why is it that now it's like, oh, you're not allowed to do that. That's weird. Maybe I missed something in translation. I don't know. That's very strange. Okay. I'm going with, I'm, I'm going with turbos. I, 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 I said I was going to go with turbos and I'm going with turbos. Oh, that looks really good, actually, with the hood exit exhausts. I'm down for that. And you can see the turbos through the grill. Absolutely love that. Okay. So, we're going to go with a fully upgraded six-speed transmission. And we'll do a maxed-out flywheel. And then frame-wise, I'll throw, like, a roll cage in there for stability. Definitely do a, uh, a kind of a two-post wheelie bar. And weight reduction, we're going all the way up. Weight transfer, I'll have all the adjustability. And then parachute... I mean, I might as well. I don't see a reason to not do the parachute. And then, let's see. Did we do all the frame stuff? Yes, we did. Computer-wise, we're going all the way up on the nitrous tuning, the launch tuning, the fuel. It's all getting maxed. This thing, this thing's gonna be quick. It's, or at least, I'm hoping it's gonna be quick. And I'm sure there's gonna be somebody out there that's got a faster one. But I really want to see what I can actually take this thing to. So, I think I had like a 32 on the other one. I'm gonna see what I can go with with a 35... And I might go all out on this thing, like max and max. That's gonna be that's gonna be pretty wild. I mean, max height and width thing is gonna either bog down or it's gonna be very fast. Now, let me make these just a hair skinnier. And I'll leave those as like a 15. I might make them like a 16 just to kind of differentiate them a little bit. Or maybe even like a 17. I don't know. I don't think that's going to ruin my time at all. I, I mean, it's just going gonna, gonna to make it look a little uh, odd, interesting. But, geez, that thing is so... <laughs> and that looks like it means business, dude. That looks like it means absolutely wild amounts of business. Okay, so transmission tuning. I'm not going to mess with that just yet until I do a... Let's see, front and rear, uh, clearance fully upgraded, coil or coilover springs are required. Wait a minute, did I not? Whoa, hold on. I missed something. I don't know what it was that I exactly missed, but I missed something. Hold on, computer, nitrous dyno, suspension. But stiffness, bump, rebound, extension. What did I... I missed it somewhere, and I don't remember where I... Suspension. Can you not, like... Am I, like, losing my brain or something? Oh, no. I completely missed that. Yeah, I, I completely... So, I upgraded the front suspension, but I didn't do the axle configuration. That's it. So, we're going to do a torque arm in the back. Obviously, with dual coilovers. 
and then back into the upgrades. Wrong, like, wrong place. Hold on. Suspension. There we go. All right, so I want the stiffness probably tuned down a little bit in the back, but I also want the bump. Bump and rebound, I'm not going to mess with just yet. And then the front, let's see, extension, a.k.a. just like offset with, I think it's more aesthetically pleasing if it's a little bit further out, like if it's a little bit wider. Uh, I, I mean, thing is wide. I mean, it is just steamroller wide. Absolutely steamroller wide. Launch control. Launch RPM is going to be... Well, wait a minute. Let's see. 9,000 RPM. Limiter RPM is going to be like 7,500. That seems to have worked pretty well in that general range before. Wait a minute. I'm doing this wrong. Launch RPM is going to be like 7,500. Limiter is going to be 10K. And then shift light's going to come on at 9,300. Fuel rate... We'll throw the perfect tune on there for fuel and timing. Boost is going to be essentially max boost in all gears. But I have got to change this paint color. I, I have got to change this paint color. I also want to do a little bit of like customization to the thing visually. I'm not going to do too much. Oh, God. I could take the entire front end off. And I could also do like a cowl hood, but it wouldn't really make any sense. You know what I mean? Like it wouldn't really matter all that much. I don't know if the wings matter, and I kind of want to leave the wing off for this build. Let's see. What could we run in the rear? I want, like, a proper-looking beadlock in the back. Whoa, that looks gnarly. That looks gnarly. Okay, I I'm definitely running something along those lines. I'll run these in the front. Those look, like, really, really chunky, to be honest. Like, I really dig the way that looks. Let's see. Uh, not running a Pro Charger setup, but I will do the air dam, and then I will repaint the truck as well. I've always thought these trucks look so good in, like, a nice deep red. And I think that that really brings out a lot of the character of the truck. There we go. That looks really, really good. Now, what about if we just make the cage kind of like a dark gray? Trim, we're doing a chrome delete because I think the chrome delete looks so good. And then wheels-wise, I'm not going to worry too much about the wheels. I'm not going to worry about the wheelie bar. I'm not going to spend a massive amount of time. Um, here, no, there, bye. Okay. Not going to spend a massive amount of time in there, but I do need to dial in the wheelie bar. So I think I'm going to dial it down to like negative 2, and I'll make it like 1.2. And now we're going to go test it out with essentially a completely blind setup. And I mean a completely blind setup. Well, let's head to Memphis for this particular test. All right, let's see how this thing runs. I'm not expecting an insane time right off the bat, but that's what tuning is for. All right, we'll get that burnout done. Good grief. I love the way that looks with, like, the freaking flames shooting out of the hood. That looks so good. All right, just a little bit closer. All right, launch mode, and... Oh, my God, that's gnarly. Go! Okay, so we could use some gear tuning to take full advantage of it. It's like a 6.3 right now. I definitely think that we could do a little bit better, but let's see. All right, I'm going to go back now. If I had clicked re-race, it probably would have taken me back to where I wanted to be to retune it, wouldn't it? Yep, that, that would have been nice. All right, uh, 405, Memphis, that's fine. All right, so back into the tuning space. Now, I want to dial in, let's see, let's make that fifth gear, or not fifth gear, sorry, final gear just a little bit shorter I'm gonna shorten up almost everything I want to get it to where we're using all six gears because if we've got a six speed and we're not using all six gears there's no point in having a six speed so I want to really get to the level to where we're using all the gears in this thing. I want a little bit hotter than I normally do on that, like 128. But, I mean, anywhere between, like, you know, 120, 130, you're going to be all right in terms of tire temps. All right, let's try with these new gear ratios now and see how she does. And go! Oh, that was pretty good. We're using all six now. I don't know if it was really spinning. Six, two, so it got better. It got better. All right, that's actually really good. Okay, we're getting somewhere now with this. Now, 
Hmm, I'm going to bring 5th a little closer and 6th a little closer. And I might bring 3rd a little closer as well. I, I think that might be good. All right, now I want to see if we can go faster than a 6-2. I'm literally just figuring out the setup on this truck as I go, and I feel like we're doing a pretty dang decent job. And I'm sure there's somebody out there that's got this thing in the fives, and that's my goal, of course, but it's really cool seeing the process of what affects what with the tuning to actually get it there. Okay, sixth gear could be a little bit shorter. 6-1, it's getting faster, like every run, it's getting faster. Okay, so, transmission. I can shorten 6th up a good bit. I know I shortened it up a lot right there. Mm, let's see. And then 3rd to 4th could maybe be a bit tighter. Alright, this will be my last test on that transmission setup. Let's see how she does. I'm crossing my fingers and really hoping for the best here, guys. I think we might have a pretty decent run on our hands. If I can get it to, like, a six flat, I'll be happy with that. For, like, a, you know, for a quick build, a blind build like this, I, I, I'll be really happy with a 6-0. I mean, I've got it to, like, a 6-1 right now, and I think that's really, really good. But, all right, got to focus. Boom, boom, go. Oh, dude. It hit limiter right at the line. Ah, uh, 6-1 still. I definitely think it's got like a 6.0 or a 5.9 at least in it. But at the end of the day, I think this thing came out pretty good. It was a fun rig. It was a really, really fun beast of a truck. I really enjoy this thing. And for a very quick tune um, that hasn't been refined at all yet... I loved this truck. I loved building it. Now, if you guys have any thoughts or opinions at all, make sure to leave them in the comment section down below. And if you're new around here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell as well. And I will see you all in the next one. Talk to you all later and hope you guys enjoyed.